Hey again, YouTubers. This is my second installment of uh, self filming uh, tree stand uh, self filming and uh, I'm going to try to make sure that I do a better job with a microphone this time so it's on my cell phone and I'm not covering up the microphone so uh, let me go ahead and start again with my tree arm uh, this is the hawk hunt hard tree arm and um, granted it's not uh, a $150 arm like a, a fourth arrow um, I might have a fourth arrow in my future, but uh, for now, uh, this one cost me $79, and I think I got free shipping on it, and I think this week, uh, Hawk is offering free shipping um, on it, and they, uh, I might get me another one uh, for my son to use, so um, uses this big ratchet strap here, it does have a separate um, base for uh, and the arm comes out so and it can be leveled here and I find that feature almost useless uh, seldom do I have a situation where I have to uh, use that um, but for $79 uh, actually now I think about it I paid $69 for this at Lancaster Archery and um, I've been uh, pretty pleased with it. It folds up fairly compactly and uh, goes in this backpack. Uh, this is a Slumberjack Spore. Um, might do a review on it later. It's currently, uh, it does okay, but it's a tad small. Uh, I need it probably another inch at least wider here. So, um, so what I'm waiting on right now is, uh, this is my G40, and I'm actually waiting for it to time out and turn itself off. Um, but while I'm waiting on that, why don't I show you my uh, fluid head. This is uh, the Manfrotto 700RC2. It is um, a single-sided fluid head, and it's one of the smallest fluids heads that um, I have run into. I have two of them. My son uses the other one and uh, I'm pretty pleased with it uh, as uh, a fluid head. Uh, my camera, um, it, it, balance it, pretty, it balances pretty well and I don't have a problem with it going back or forward and it's seldom too tight. Uh, I can adjust this like I want it to uh, to be just right and um, the uh, the pan and the tilt is all very very smooth. So uh, this is my Canon G40. I upgraded from a G10 to this G40, and uh, the, some of the differences is uh, it's a tad bit uh, longer. Uh, if you're familiar with the G40, you probably recognize this um, lens. Uh, hood as one from a G10, not from the G40, because the G40 actually um, has a little switch on the side where you can open and close uh, the hood. And for hunting, my preference is to, uh, to use this hood from a G10, because I take it off and turn it around backwards when um, I pack it away in this to carry it safely. Um, to the woods so um, about the G40 uh, the good thing about it is um, it um, it doesn't have any more internal memory like the G10 did, did. Um, so but it has two card slots for SD cards um, it does have a uh, nice manual focus ring it does have uh, an eyepiece viewfinder if I might would need that in a situation where the sun was just too bright. Um, I have it connected up with a Land C. You may have heard it recalled, Lank, but a proper 
pronunciation is Land C um, remote control on it and this one is uh, not made anymore it's the Zoe DVXL by Bebop and uh, I actually have three of them because I hoard them when I find them because I like them so much so the great thing about this is when you're self filming um, I have one hand operation for zoom in zoom out power on and off record and if I want to focus instantly I can use this button so I'm also using the Canon DM100 microphone that uses the Canon proprietary shoe to power it uh, I like that because I don't have to um, worry about battery power or forgetting to turn one a microphone on and off I do have a road that I could use if I wanted to my son actually uses it um, I originally thought that if I used this uh, microphone that I would also be able to use the mic input here for um, laugh mics but once you use this um, microphone port the these ports no longer work up here so it's not like you can hook up a double set of microphones which would be nice but the, those ports the mic input ports don't work anymore after uh, you plug in a um, uh, plug this microphone in and um, let me go back and touch on this remote control again um, it, this one is not made anymore and they're very hard to find uh, I buy all the ones I can find that are reasonably priced but uh, Verizoom uh, makes a couple of them that are supposedly land sea compatible and they work very well to also do uh, zoom in and zoom out one of them has a, a slider control rather than a rocker on it and they work very well and they're also land sea compatible uh, and can plug into your um, land sea port on your G40 um, just like this one does now if you saw my other video you might remember that I had used a shortened um, handle uh, but I have switched back to the factory handle because I did find that um, it did give me a little bit more leverage and order it seems to work good with the friction of uh, the tilt on the Manfrotto head um, I'll just have to deal with the fact that it might hit me in the belly or uh, something in the arm or something but from from being so long um, but uh, this camera uh, of course if I didn't have the remote control I would have to power on use the rocker button for zoom in out use this possibly manual focus control if I had to or the instant focus from uh, the touch and hit the record button so that's what's so great about this um, land sea remote control so let me show you how what's so great about it so i currently have it uh, powered off and the camera is actually turned on but it is powered off i let it um, the i let it auto power off uh, due to inactivity because i wanted to show how this works so if i'm in a hunting situation i will turn it on let it power itself off and then I'm able to use this on off button on the remote to turn it on. I don't actually have to reach up and flip the switch and that, that turns uh, the camera on. Now, if I want to, in a situation, uh, if I want to record, all I have to do is hit the middle button and it records and I can just stop. And, um, but let me show you one of the best features of this uh, remote control I've got over here a let's see if we can get zoomed into it I've got a deer target over here and let me try and see if I can get it where I'm not getting any there we go okay so um, I in a hunting situation um, you know I've got some leaves in front here and there's depending on what my aperture might be it's, if it's automatic I might have um, a situation where it's going to zoom in on these leaves rather than on the animal so um, 
I would I can actually zoom in on the animal which is slightly out of focus right now hit the auto focus button and that brings it in focus you can see how it did now I've also got what is called um, focus peaking turned on which I'm not sure if you can see it or not but you should be able to see some pink or red they, it makes it look pink but my focus peaking lines are actually red and you can see as I move the uh, camera um, the focus peaking lines turn off and then when I stop they turn back on so that is an indication to me that my target is actually in focus and the reason why I like that is uh, is my uh, eyesight is failing so I have to use corrected vision for nearsightedness uh, and I also use readers for farsightedness. So um, I need the focus peaking line so I know whether or not I'm in focus uh, or not. So if I actually zoom in on these, let's hit uh, instant autofocus again and let's see. Now you can see that my um, the branches and the leaves are in focus and that would put the deer out of focus so I can actually zoom in over here and hit it again and now the ground and the target comes back in focus and then if I want to I can zoom back out and it will all stay in focus so let me move the camera and you can see how the focus peaking lines will turn off and on as I move the camera so that's one thing why one reason why I like the G40 so much the G10 did not have that capability um, to be able to have focus peaking. So that's why I like uh, the G40 so much is because it has focus peaking. So now if I have a situation where I've got a deer way out here, and let's see if we can zoom in. Right currently I got these, my aperture is so wide open that everything is in focus. However, if I zoom in, you'll see that things are not in focus and so what I have to do now is hit my instant autofocus button and now you see everything comes in focus and now I have focus peaking lines for those things and then as I back back out that's now in focus so that's what's so great about this G40 um, in combination with this um, remote land sea remote control so um, I probably I paid um, uh, $800 for this camera from the Canon website it was a uh, refurbished model and so it still comes with the factory warranty even though it's refurbished but I got it for $800 when I felt like that was a pretty good deal uh, the microphone was brand new I got it off eBay for a hundred dollars um, this rocker uh, zoom um, remote um, control um, I have three of them and I've paid anywhere from 25 to probably $75 I think I paid I got one of them from England um, and I paid probably 40 bucks for it I know I paid 25 for another one and I might have paid more than 50 for one of them um, but if, uh, if I ever, ever have one go bad on me I've got uh, a backup so anyway that's my self-filming uh, setup and um, so please comment if you have any questions thanks